Hi everybody and welcome. Today I am going to be showing you the basic features of iMovie. Today we are using version 10.1.5 and I'll be taking you through from a fairly beginner friendly perspective all the basic features you are likely to want to use for most video editing. So let's get started. So after you open iMovie, here's how we're going to get started. We're going to click on the projects tab up here and now we will go create new. And we're going to create a movie, not a trailer. Trailers are preset templates. We just want a movie, a blank slate. One thing to note before we get started is that iMovie always auto saves. You never have to file, save your project or anything like that. It's just going to auto save throughout. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to want to get our video in here. Now I've got some media clips you can see right here that I can drag down to my timeline in the video. But the way I usually like to do it is just get it on the desktop or in a folder somewhere and drag it in. The drop and drag feature is really nice. So I'm going to be using this, let's see, video file right here for setting up a green screen. So I'm going to drag and drop that in. Alternatively, you could use the import button right here and import it and then drag it down to your timeline. Either way, it works fine. All right, so now we've got our video there and I'm going to zoom in. You can see here that this slider right here, if I dr zoom it over to the right, it zooms in on the video, which is kind of nice. Helps me work and so you can customize that as you need to. Uh, another thing to note here is that the space bar is the pause and play button. So if I click over to the beginning of the video, hit space bar, then I can hit space bar again to pause. And that's a really good feature that comes in handy. Also, when you're recording via voiceover, you can hit spacebar to stop recording. Another shortcut that you'll likely be using a lot is the trim shortcut, which is Command B. So if I hit spacebar to play right here, I want to stop it right there. And I want to get rid of this dead space at the beginning of the video. So I've got my cursor right there, and I'm going to hit Command B. Command B is trim. And now I can click on that and then hit delete. Likewise, if I had a section in the middle here that I wanted to get rid of, I click there, hit Command B. Click at the end of it, hit Command B again. Now I've got it split and I can delete that section and you can edit your video in that way. So under the My Media tab here, you can uh, insert other video clips as an overlay. You can get photos or audio and just drag it down to your video there. There's also a lot of built-in stuff here that's kind of nice. You've got some sound effects and other jingles and other things that we can put down in our video just by clicking and then dragging them down here and you can adjust where you want that to go. Let's say I want this to go over here. Simply click and drag it. Something you'll definitely want to do if you're adding multiple audio sources is adjust the audio as needed. So if you click on this center line here, you can see the volume can be adjusted and you'll almost definitely have to adjust that. Sometimes you even have to kick the music way down in order to hear your voice. Uh, you can do that up here with the voice recording too. You may need to kick that up a bit. To get a little more nuanced, you can click on this speaker button here and you can adjust the audio this way as well. If you're wanting music and sound effects and you're not finding what you want in iMovie, I definitely recommend checking out the YouTube free music library too. All you have to do is go to your YouTube account. If you go to your creator studio, then you can click on the create button that you see right here and it will take you to this huge audio library with lots of free songs for you to use. Now the next section that we have in iMovie here is titles. Titles are very useful. If you happen to want a little intro to your video, you can click and drag one of these titles here and we can just put it right there. So I can just double click on this now and I can start typing green screen. And there we go. And now I've got my title there. If you didn't want it as a separate title, you can always put it as an overlay by just dragging it above your video. And now we've got it over the video. There's also some nice backgrounds which can be useful for all kinds of things, including some of these titles. So if we wanted, for example, a nice organic background here, we can put our text over as an overlay over that. And you can see how that looks. Now this one happens to be a little too white for the white-ish background, so we're going to change the color. We simply click on our title, then we click on the text, and we can change the color, and we'll make this one red. And there we go, now we've got a nice red font. You can adjust the font size, you can make it bold. All that formatting stuff is right here under the text area. 
Now maybe you're wanting to put a lot of photos in here and make it more of a photo story than an actual video. If that's the case, you can simply navigate to your photos in your finder and drag and drop them in, or you can use this import button once again. Let's try using this import button here. And we're gonna go to my desktop and find a photo. I think here we go, grass field wallpaper. We'll just select that and import it here. That will put it up here in our My Media section, and I can just drag it down to wherever I want it in my video. You can have it cut away to that picture like we have right here, or you can make it as an overlay and do sort of a picture-in-picture -picture thing. And so we can decide here if we want picture-in-picture. -picture. There we go. Now it is a little image there, and we can adjust the size and placement of that if we want to. Or we can also, if we have it down here, you can adjust the cropping method. The default here, you can notice, it's kind of slowly zooming in on a certain part of the picture. And sometimes that might not be the way you want it. You're probably going to have to customize that quite a bit. So you can see if we click on this button right here, this is the cropping button on the image. And now we can hit where we want it to start and end, and we can adjust that. You can also just decide, no, I don't want it to do that at all. I just want it to fit. And then it just stays still. The next thing we'll go to here is transitions. There are lots of transitions for you to choose from, and sometimes you might like to get a little bit fancy with them, but I generally recommend people stick to cross dissolve and cross blur just because they're kind of neutral and inoffensive. So if we just take one of these transitions and drag it down here, you can see how, what that does. And we get a nice little cross dissolve there from one frame to another. One other important feature that you'll likely be using, especially if you have photos like this, uh, let's take and let's drag this photo a little longer here. You can make it longer or shorter. And you can also trim video this way, by the way, just clicking on the edge and saying, oh, I want to get rid of this right here. You can just drag the end there. Um, but let's say that I want to have a little voiceover with this photo here. So I'm actually explaining it and narrating over it. I just click at the beginning of the photo. Then I click on this microphone button here. And I can select which microphone I want. I'll just use my built-in microphone. And now I can hit the record button and it will give me a countdown to start recording. As you can see here, we have a lovely grass field. I hit spacebar or the stop recording button there. And you can see that the volume is pretty high. I should probably adjust that and kick it down a little bit. There we go. That's probably better. And then we've got some nice voiceover. And you can move that around if you decide, no, I actually want it over here or I need to trim it a bit. You can trim the edge of it. And uh, yeah, you can do all the same things you could do with other media. Now, there are many other features of iMovie, but these are some of the basics. The last thing that you want to keep in mind is you need some way to finish your project. If you click the share button up here, you can do that. We're going to share, and then the best way to do it is to hit file. Even if you want to upload it to YouTube, I've had lots of problems uploading directly to YouTube. So what I usually do is save it as a file, and then I upload that file to YouTube when I'm done. It will give you a little white circle on the upper right hand corner. And so let's see that, this little circle here. And that will tell you how much progress is being made. With a video like this, it might take a good five, 10 minutes, but this will eventually fill up and become all white. It just takes a little while. All right, so those are some of the basic features of iMovie. So that's gonna do it for this one. I hope you've enjoyed it and found it useful. And if you are interested in learning more about green screen in iMovie, you can check out the video. I'll put a link right at the top here. And I wanna thank you very much for joining me. Have fun making movies.